Hello everyone, Ashma here. Let's finally get this ship. I mean, how many episodes has it now been since we actually started this quest? Was it four or something? Quite a lot. Watch your backs. I mean, to be fair, we did do quite a lot of stuff in the meantime, but still. Can't put off the main quest forever now, can we? Not if we want to finish the game and get another platinum trophy. Wink, wink. And we start the episode with a level up. Isn't that great? All right. I mean, these enemies, I mean, they are slime enemies. They are like the first enemy in every JRPG ever. So, eh. Not a lot of trouble here. Another level up, very nice. So yeah, I have a good feeling about this. I think we can take these orcs now. And now watch them eat my make me eat my words immediately. Probably. Glimmering ice crystal pistol. Man, the names of these items are just outrageous. I'm still fighting. All right, here we go. Oh, well, he's a little bit low level. Do not have a problem with that, though. Uh, let's get rid of the small fry first. Eh. Of course, he would go ahead and hit me with that. What was that? God. Well, that was more luck than anything. Careful now. Was a lot better than last time, I think. Just about made it to the shrine now. Level 31 goo. Hmm. I mean, I think we should be able to do this. Jeez. Sickening Platinum Axe. Now, if only we would actually use Batu, we could use that. Uh, no. But yeah, that battle, once again, was easy enough. And there's another dragon over there. Oh my god. 
Like the game is just teasing you with dragons all over the place. In the case, it's not putting 20 slime enemies immediately in your face. Oh! <laughs> You're welcome. Can't hit me now, can you? But there's only one enemy left, so who cares? Ah, well. Got some more equipment. And another treasure chest. Angel steer. Well, that is actually quite useful, I think. Because you will have to fight some kind of monster in the shrine, I think I remember. Uh, the ladies and capstan upon hall saying something like that. So let's have a quick check of our equipment here. So if we collected anything else that we might be able to use to great effect. Alright, yes. Those are some nice shoes. The rest, well... Wind resistance. Slightly boosts experience earned. Ooh. Yeah, I think I want to put that on. Alright, anything else? Nothing gives us fire damage. Well, we are facing a lot of uh, water-related enemies, so maybe it's better to put that on? Stinky sea breeze sandals. <laughs> yeah, I mean, why the hell not? Now he definitely needs that for a while longer. Anything else? We have more equipment that increases uh, our experience gain. I don't think so. All right, I think we are set up. Oh yeah, we can put this on her. Cool. Oh. Hey, let's see what awaits us inside here. Briny Shrine. Well, a safe point for one. That is very welcome. And a big old room. So, boss fight. Mm, can't help but notice a glaring like a ship, all this. Did the wretched creature gobble them all up, do you think? Hey. Over there, do you see? There's something on top of that platform. Oh yeah, let's go and take a closer look, shall we? This is looking a bit ominous. Let's see here. What exactly is it? Some kind of cocoon or egg or something? What? What's that? Oh my gosh, there's someone inside it. Oh, don't tell me it's a spider. You mean to say there's people in them? Every one of the blasts of things. Uh, I don't like that at all. Maybe best get the pole swaps out. Careful, we're not alone. There it is. Jelly Queen, gruesome grand dam of the gloomy deep. 
Yikes. Well, at least it's not a spider, but it's a laser jellyfish. Don't know if that is better. To be perfectly honest with you. Woo. Quite the laser show she's putting on here. Not so bad so far, I think. We stay near enough. Well, I was going to say, as long as we stay near enough, she can't hit us, but then she hit me, so. <laughs> uh, don't you guys just. Yeah, sure. Just go ahead and hit me. One of the, the other. Interesting that when she's using a laser attack, it's actually our best opportunity to attack her. I uh, can't see shit there, so let's retreat for now. Oh! Managed to stun her, huh? Yeah, let's just wait this up. You know what would be great right about now? One of these golden orbs. Could anybody do that for me? That'd be great. Really appreciate it. Ah, well, she's about done anyway. Couple more checks, and there we go. That wasn't too bad. Come on. We have to free them. Oh. Eh, thank Greg, you're out of there. I thought I were a goner. You prayed that beast good and prop, eh? Right tasty you are, not like us lot. Is everybody safe? Mr. Wright was awfully worried about you all. Ha! I bet you were. They be not getting done with us all gummed up a beer. If you get back sharpish, I'll never hear the end of this. Ta right, the lad. Ta-ra for now. See you back in Capsen, eh? Alright. Capstan it is. Anti-freeze bone mail. Huh. Don't mind if I do. Well, that wasn't so bad, was it? But you know what? Let's actually take the long trip back, I think. Just because to have uh, some more shots at some more items and stuff. I mean, the enemies here are you ready for this? appropriately leveled to us, so, yeah. I think it's a good idea to defeat them. You're welcome. 
Anybody left alive? No. Yeah. Maybe we can skip on that one. Here goes nothing. Oh, that was close. Oh, careful. Easy enough. Puts my mind at a bit of ease that we might actually be strong enough to continue on. Or at least where we should be level wise for this part of the game. Tainted monsters notwithstanding. I think this will be the last bell before we get to Capstan. And maybe finally our ship? I mean, well, it is true that we put that off for quite a while. I think the story will probably throw some more wrenches in our cocks here. Now that the builders are back, they probably don't have any wood or something that they need. Level 35! My gosh! Glad I didn't went back there. Alright, just in case there are some more nasty surprises waiting for us. Let's have a quick look at what we picked up so far. Water rowing sword, yeah, okay. Anything else? Don't think so. Oh, his armor boosts his experience. But I guess this suits him a lot better. Now we can upgrade his swords for a little bit. Is there anything for Tani? No. Not really. Would give her this though. Let's actually have a look at Batu. Oh, uh, yeah. Can use some of that. Maybe this. And I think we are good to go. Alright, let's see if we can actually get a boat here, huh? I doubt it. 
but that's just me. Well, hello there. Hello there. The Avernus bloke's back is given Tapsan in the lease of life, and we got used to thank for that. Ta very much, lad. Well, no problem. Now, could you guys put on some trousers or something? <laughs> ah, see you, fern folk. Clothes be damned. Hey, yep, you majesty. Well, that's all back, sorry for time. If not, Captain upon Hall, all right, big favor, and then some. <laughs> Should have seen it, righty. The old flipping animal. Clover thing would snatch us up a lot, we're not mad. Bosh. You call him Kit Directors off. This isn't some pain from down to red, it's a king. King I have not the Outlands, I'll have you in there. Sure, up. A king and all, at his age. But what's some king from over till the far away doing come to rescue the likes of us? We need shipbuilders, and Mr. Wright told us that his shipbuilders needed our help. So that's it, eh? Well, King Evan, if it's boat pillars you need, you found your blokes. What are you after exactly? A nice fishing boat, maybe? Or someone to live in? You can do your right good houseboat if you need the one. We need something big and hard wearing. Then to sail around the world, hydrobolus first, and then, well, who knows? <laughs> Round flippin' world, this says like it's known. Well, hey, to disappoint you, but I need to get an ocean going boat out of any other wood we've got around here. What did I just say? Uh. No, he'll lean in somewhat proper outfit. Waves will soon wall up it to pieces otherwise. Mm. Hardware and wood. Hmm. I think we'd better go and speak with Niall. He knows of something we can use, I'm sure. Will you now? Well, the best go and ask your mate Niall then, eh? Let us know when you had a word with him. Oh, aye. Aye, and do all. We have the gratitude to be paying you back. Well, then, isn't that a surprise? No, it's not. Oh, well, nothing to be done about it. Let's go back to uh, Evermore. Yeah. Have a chat with Niall, I think. But actually, let's check. Yeah, our coffers are full once again. My god, it's filling up right quick here. We really do need these bigger coffers. Let's go ahead and do just that, huh? Yes, thank you. 15,000. Alright, that should help out. Alright, did we start any research? I don't think we did. So let's go and check that just now. Any more research we can do here? No, but we could level up. Up the facility. Uh, and let's put that on hold for now. Uh, yeah, spell works. Definitely want to upgrade that. Let's see if we can research something else now. Level three spell development. Hmm. Specific spell development, nature's tongue, a spell that lets us speak to plants and animals. Ooh. Let's speak to the departed. Well, do not have the money for any of that, though. <laughs> God damn it. Always the same problems here. <laughs> now that we have bigger coffers, we do not have any money anymore. Isn't that just great? Well, let's at least get that then. Just so we are researching something. Maybe get a sleepy ranch, a hunting lodge. 
I mean, why though? That's not that expensive. Ooh, look at that. Do not have any citizens. <laughs> ah. That's just wonderful. Now, what are these stars supposed to mean? Is that personnel that's fitting to put there? I mean, yeah, maybe. Who's the hunting lodge? Wait, what was their ability again? Mining camp. Yeah, we do not have a mining camp yet. there oh the stars means they are suitable huh wait where is minty this is a spell works why that no 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 you're going here <clears throat> oh i see so we have to look at people with stars next to the name to know that they are suitable for working here So let's have a quick look around. See if we can assign any more people that are suitable at other places. Just so we have the best guys at the job. We don't want to waste our personnel now, do we? Oh yeah, right. She has to stay there for now. Alright, yeah. Now let's have a look around. Who is suitable for all of this stuff here? Only you two, huh? Alright. How about the hull bubbly? Nobody suitable for that. Interesting. Feeling like I'm getting sidetracked again. <laughs> Real hot here. And to put insult to injury, I think we already had our best personnel at their jobs anyway. Oh no, Munukoi can work here. Yeah, I don't care. But wait, wasn't Batu better suited for here? Hunting Lodge. Yeah. Batu should come here, definitely. Alright, now then. Let's have a look here. Spellworks. I think we want the best we can get here. And John um, probably at the armory and the weaponsmith. Barracks as well. Hmm. Wait, 
Is everybody working once again? No, oh, there should still be three people not working, right? Can we assign them? Yukon, Muriel. Can't we put them in the barracks? How is that? Yeah, they're just not listed here. Interesting. All right then. Guess we'll just put them here. All right. Grab a bit of money. And let's have a talk with Maya. Hey. So you want to have a word with me, are you? Well, let's do this properly and go to the throne room, shall we? Well, if you insist. Adwin Timbe, I have an idea what you might be after. Reckon you could do a lot worse than an iron bow to your den. They grow over in the hardwoods there. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's go and get some. Aye. Aye, that good, lady, that the good. But you'll not be wanting to go strolling in there unprepared, believe me. Bless you. you blocked the path off a while back. There's a problem, see? The dirty great beastie with a fuse so short, you'd swear he didn't even have one. And there's no other way of getting to these iron bow trees than going through this thing. That's about the size of it, I. Now, what did I tell you guys, huh? Oh, you'll be needing this? Bottle of Thornaway spray. <laughs> it's a wee magical concoction I like to call Thornaway. Anything spiky you're getting rid of, this is your stuff. You pile the path up with puff burst. You want to spay a puff or two on that to clear the thing out? A chemical that specifically targets spicy, uh, spiky objects. That seems unlikely. Thank you. Very much, Niall. Come on, Roland. We'll set off for the forest right away. Well, Roland does have a point. Oh, I think I know where we need to go now. Yeah. Before we go there, though, let's have a quick look at Swift Solutions. See if we can turn on anything else to get some more tokens. Welcome to Swift Solutions. Now, what do we have today, huh? Wemster Clangers? Yeah, sure, why not? Yep, can turn that in right away. Dark and scaly leather. I do not have any more of that. Lightweight lumber we do have. Eat the silfies. Thunderous uh -huh. conch. Bottles of fresh milk. Can turn that in right away as well. Base bones are good. Alright. No. Wanna turn in some completed tasks. Oh, we hand over this item, huh? Oh well. Why not? Wait a minute. Big horn spear. Oh, there. Take this one then. There was one more that we can turn in immediately. All right. Let's report that as completed as well. And I think there are some more slaying quests that we can do. Sylphies. Grimchilla Clashers and Puddle Goose. All right. Now, uh, what? Uh, what can we turn them in for? No citizens? No. Items? Uh, uh, oh wait, maybe some mushrooms? Does he have mushrooms? Don't think he does. Nah. 
No mushrooms. All right, got some more tokens. That will have to do for now. So, Forest of Nile, it is once more. All right. Yes, 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 we've had that. All right, guys, I think we've made a little bit of progress so far. You know, we defeated another boss. We are on our way to get a ship. But I guess we will have to go through the Falls of Nile once again and defeat another boss here. Just over there. And yeah, I think let's do this in the next episode, huh? Yeah. All right. Thank you guys for watching this one. And I hope to see you in the next one. Bye-bye.